Hey guys, welcome to another essential tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can dramatically save on your render time using something called Video AI by Topaz Labs. Now in this case, I had a fairly quick turnaround time, so I couldn't spend a ton of time rendering, um, but I was using 3ds Max and V-Ray for the setup. You could easily use Corona or Redshift or Arnold, it doesn't really matter, as Video AI will accept image sequences and video files. So for some of these test renders here, you can see that it was taking roughly 30 minutes a frame. And within the shadows and the details, there's still quite a bit of noise that was happening. So I didn't have time to crank up the samples really high, as it probably would have taken closer to two hours a frame in order to clean up some of these uh, issues natively within V-Ray. So you can see in the back of the chair, underneath the pillow, and some of the, like the leaf details, that's where most of the issues of noise were happening. So if you go to Topaz Video AI and you look at their website, you'll see some of the samples of what they do. Um, it upscales, provides slow motion, sharpens, uh, overall just cleans up your image quite dramatically. So in the application here, I have a sample render frame. And again, this was taking roughly 30 minutes a frame. And you can just see how much of the noise is completely removed from your image. And you can see as I'm zooming in here, a lot of the aliasing that was happening is completely removed, cleaned up. Uh, it does a really good job at maintaining the detail and adding a bit of sharpness. And yeah, it ultimately means I didn't have to render out um, a ton of extra samples in order to fix these natively. So I'm going to show you how I did it. In Video AI, you can import video files, or if you change it down to image sequences here, you can work on images, image sequences as well. So I'm going to open up a sample image sequence here. And just hitting the play button, you kind of preview and can see to make sure you have the right file selected. Now on the right here is where most of the settings are going to need to be adjusted. It comes with a great uh, set of presets, which work really well. But in this case, I'm just going to kind of show you some basic settings. You can upscale your image. In my case, I rendered it out at 3K, but then I upscaled to 4K, which works really well. Um, you can start at 1080p, for instance, and upscale to 4K, and it does a really great job at preserving that detail. Stabilization, if you have really shaky footage, does a great job. Frame interpolation, if you want to add slow motion, it'll do frames between frames. Also does a really good job from the tests I've done. Um, enhancement is where you're going to have the most difference in, in the visuals. So there's a few AI models here. Um, I'm not going to go into them too uh, much in depth, but I use the Thea, Thea AI model in order to have complete control over the compression, sharpness, noise, etc. It's just like up on, online, their documentation, they explain these pretty well. So you can also add some grain back, which is, is pretty good. Um, once you've dialed in your settings, just hit preview and it'll load up a preview image here so you can kind of see what it's actually doing. So even just changing some basic settings, you can see just how much of the noise is completely removed from the images. Even some of these artifacting issues are completely gone. Um, so even this is all native 4K, so this looks really good. Um, and once you're happy with the settings, you can either keep playing with them and, and change them or you can go to this output settings area and you can export a ProRes, uh, lots of video options, or you can natively export it back in EXR, which is really nice. Once you're ready, just hit export and you'll see it start to work on this clip down here. Once it's ready, you can just right click and go show and explore and it'll show you where that clip actually saved. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps you guys out. It saved me a ton of render time, so I just wanted to, to share it with you guys. But uh, either way, hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.